Good morning, my name is Daniel and uh, today I'm delighted to be going on a scramble up the East Ridge of Vigan and as you can see it's a nice early morning start for me as I'm standing here next to Lake Idwell. So why don't you join me as I go up this delightful and fun little scramble. There's essentially three parts to this route. We've got the somewhat scrappy start to the route which has some heather and grass mixed in with the rock. Then we have a grassy section in the middle and then the final top section is where the really good scrambling is and there's some decent rock up there, uh, fairly steep as well and uh, once I've finished on the top section I will just tap the summit of Egan and I'll head back down onto the right hand side. This is where I'll be going up and I'll come down the path on this side to your right and back to Ogwen Cottage. One of the things I like about this route is the very short approach. So coming up from behind Ogwen Cottage, all you need to do is follow the well-paved path for about 800 meters and that'll bring you up to the mouth of Lake Idwell and then just go anti-clockwise around the lake for about three or four minutes walking and then you'll find yourself at the foot of East Ridge. Anyway, I'm only about 30 meters up from the start. It's quite rocky, as you can see. Plenty of grip. I don't think this is the easiest route up here, but I'm enjoying it nonetheless. Definitely not the easiest route up. I remember last time I came up here, it wasn't that steep, so it looks like I've come around the side a little bit. Oh well. Well, that's been absolutely fantastic scrambling so far. The first section was nice and steep, steeper than I thought it was actually. Felt closer to a grade three than a grade two. Uh, beyond that first section, uh, it's just rocks interspersed with lots of grass and heather. Uh, just enjoyable scrambling all the way up, nothing too difficult on that section. And uh, as you can see, I'm probably about over three quarters of the way up. And behind me, I'm not too far from the finish line. Just up here, I'm gonna pick a route up there in a moment. I think this will be a good opportunity to get the drone up and show you what the scenery is like up here.
Okay, I don't know how well you saw that, but this block here, which you probably can't see with the sun, I went round on the left hand side. You can see where I've come up onto this ridge. And I found the left side a little bit exposed. Probably could get up there, but it'd be a bit of a struggle. Didn't really fancy that without rope. But the right hand side feels a lot easier. And there's a steep bit that I tried to come up that just felt a little bit exposed on that side. There you go. So from this vantage point, I think you get a really good picture of what the scrambling is like and how difficult it is. So take a look. This is the ridge that I've come up along the grassy section, up the steps on these slabs onto this ridge. I tried to come around on the side. It was a little bit too exposed on there. So this side seemed a little bit easier. I've then snaked my way up, I've come round here, steep drop down there. So the rocks have been fairly grippy despite there still being a little bit of moisture on the ground. Um, I think the main issue on here would be some loose rocks here and there and also being able to pick the right line. This isn't one of those routes where there's just one line that takes you up to the top. You kind of need to use your judgment to pick out the best line and to know when you're heading into something which is perhaps a little bit beyond your capabilities or your comfort zone. As you saw earlier, I went around the left side of that block and it just felt a little bit uncomfortable. It just didn't feel quite right going up there uh, for me. It felt like there was a bit of a slope on one side and that if I lost my, my foot in or a hold, that I'd be off. So it was a lot easier to just go around the other side. So I think that's probably one of the most challenging aspects of this route, at least up on the top section, with having that sort of mountain sense to pick out the best route and to know which route is a little bit iffy and is beyond your, your skill level. So, right, so I've reached the top. I'm sat on the top behind me, as you can probably see, is the summit of Egan. And you can probably just about make out the route that I'll be taking back down shortly once I go and check out the lake. I think that lake is definitely worthy of checking out down there. So how do I rate this route? I think for the fun factor, I'm going to give this seven and a half out of 10. The 
the only reason I don't rate it any higher. There's lots of grass, as you can see, and uh, lots of heather growing everywhere, and you've got, I think, the wattle berries growing everywhere. So it's not just pure rock all the way. I must say, it wasn't really a problem, even though it was a little bit damp this morning. I never felt as though the rocks were particularly slippery. Uh, a few loose rocks here and there on the top section, but as I said earlier, I think the biggest issue for this route is having that ability to pick the right line because there's definitely a few lines up here which are very, very difficult and way, way beyond my skill level. This is the East Ridge of Egan and uh, this is a grade two scramble and I think it's worthy of the grade. So look, my name is Daniel, I'm the board scrambler. I really hope that you've enjoyed this footage so far. I'm gonna take a few shots with the drone and then head down to the lake and uh, see what it's like down there. And uh, I'll leave you with a few images and some footage from the rest of my journey today and uh, thanks once again if you've enjoyed this video do hit the like button and if you'd like to see more content like this do subscribe to my channel as well thanks once again for watching and uh, i hope to see you soon